Maybe nobody plays five plus three. It's I'm having a hard time getting a game here. <laughs> I'm not even searching by ratings. Today's Holy Gambit Grail. So I can't just play viewers. I am Zinc. It's been like a million years. Where you been, buddy? Good to see you back. But I'm not playing viewers right now. I'm playing Holy Gambit Grail. I got to play it in the pool. There's a chance if you enter the five plus three pool that we'll be paired. <laughs> this could be a viewer. Who knows? Going up against Sav Jensen, who only specializes in, uh, in whatchamacallit. He's a specialist in Blitz. Maybe he's a five plus three specialist. So this is really long. It's going to feel like a rapid game. And this is a Gambit. This is the Elephant Gambit. And I'm going to try to win with Knight to F6. Not the most popular line, but I like when they take and you take back. Now... <laughs> This counts because at the end of the game, it's going to say that I played the Elephant Gambit. But this this has some very strong Petrov vibes. <laughs> Just going to try to get rid of these knights right away. And we're going to try to win a boring Petrov and cross it off the list. <laughs> yeah, I tried to play, you know, one of the craziest gambits of all time, the Elephant Gambit. Turns out it can transpose into, into this. But you know what? We're just trying to cross things off a list. Give me a boring Petrov. Give me a long... <laughs> what? Hey! Excuse me? Excuse me? Did you miss the memo on the boring Petrov part? So here he's taking this. I drop back. No, no, no. I can't drop back. Did I fall for a trap? Ooh. And if I go back now? So if I play g6, he takes, and then I'm losing my knight. But if I go back now, how does it work? Because if he takes, I can move one of these knights here. Is this just interesting for white, or did I actually mess something up? So one of my knights comes here. I would like to move this one because it's the more active way to do it. His queen will go where? Can't go to any of these squares. So the queen will move somewhere far away, I think. There is this alignment. So I was quickly trying to see if, <laughs> I don't know, some sort of trick would work. But no. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, abs wait. Who's tricking who? Takes here. You cannot come up to this square. You can walk into this pin, which at least I can win a queen. I take, I go here. You go back, I go here. Why am I not just winning? He will have some check on this diagonal. Okay, let's let's remember that. Here, here, here. Now he can give some check. If I still wait, if I still have my knight here, I can just go here though. Let's go! Come on, come on. I take. I thought this was going to be like a 400 move. <laughs> we were going to get down to the Rook endgame. Goodbye to that. Hello to the Greek gift. He might not take, but then, you know, we'll, we'll laugh and laugh and laugh. If not takes and I go here, it's kind of interesting. Because then he can take this, and if I go here, now he has some check, and I no longer have my knight. Oh, but then I can just bring my bishop back. I go here. My idea is to bring the queen in. I play knight g4. What does he do? I would love to get checked, because then I can bring my bishop back and I'm threatening to come in. Hmm. 
I'm not sure. I'm trying to really think about what the opponent is going to do. Because I don't want to miss something here. Thank you for the Bush Gas Gambit video. Let's go. Glad you liked it. AZ Nation. So what is he going to do? I just simply want to come in and deliver a mate. If he goes here, I have mate in one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. He finds a way to prevent this. Okay. I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? On some sack, though, he takes back with check. Hmm. If I ever take this with the knight, I walk into a pin. Huh. Okay. Hmm. If I try to come in, which would be mate, <laughs> he'll play something. He'll play here. Hmm. I mean, I could just save my knight. Try to maneuver my queen to this square somehow. I could also go here with the idea of maneuvering this way. Hmm. It feels safer to start with this and then try to plot my, my way in. But this is the cooler way. All right, let's go safety first. I'm running out of time. There's a three second increment, but it's very complicated. So I want to, I want to have as much time as I have. You got a gambit trick. The engine doesn't understand. All right, we'll copy. I'll hope to remember to look at it afterwards. So I want, I want my queen here, which isn't even like mate yet, but it's, it's somehow getting close. Okay, queen gets on this diagonal. Makes a lot of sense to me. Preventing a lot of the stuff that I want to do. And... Hmm. I am going to just move. I'm not sure where the queen wants to go. I mean, very possibly, just wants to go there. Seems like a very good square, actually. <laughs> the more that I look at it, the more I realize, yeah, it's probably just a really annoying square for me to have to deal with. Okay, but instead, we face this. Let's see where the queen truly wants to go. And we're trying to scare the queen away so that we can go here. Like, if you went too far away, then we'd be coming in. So the queen needs to, like, stay somewhere over here. Or give a check. I think that's totally fine. I'm in the red bar already. That's not good. I gotta get my Pokemon back to the hospital. If here? Have I made a grave error or not? Shoot, I don't have much time to figure this out. I'm trying to get this queen out of my face. Just don't want to go here. I just can't do it yet. Huh. Yeah, we're going to go here really quick. Well, or maybe I'll, t maybe I'll go here real quick. Let's see where they come up with. Uh-huh. Where's the mate? Somehow I can move my knight, but it's not mate. But if I had here, now I'm threatening to go here and here with mate. 
I'm so close. This is for the Gambit Grail. We gotta get it. It's for the quest. Elephant Gambit. I don't think it matters what he does. It looks like we're gonna checkmate. He takes, I go here. He goes back, I take check. And then I deliver the mate. If he goes back now, here, followed by here. Whoo, baby. We're gonna have to analyze this too to see if any of this made any sense. This is not how I expected this game to go. <laughs> Uh, it, for a lot of reasons. When I played the Elephant Gambit, first of all, I thought it was going to be like an insane game. Then I thought it was going to be the world's most boring game, but he found a way to spice it up. And at the end of the day, he resigns. So we are able to win with the Elephant Gambit. Now, I don't think there was anything uh, different than that. Confirmed Elephant Gambit. After this capture, Knight to F6. Let's take a look. So D4, I guess is played 16% of the time. And now it just feels like some boring Petrov. But I didn't know this line. And honestly, I usually play bishop to d6. But I played here because I know it's some line. But the opponent knew something. They castled. And after, I'm trying to see what's popular here. Sorry. Come on, database. Update. Oh, no. It's just down on the list. In the master's database, almost nobody goes here. And my opponent took this. And this is just losing. Huh. So this is just a losing move. The idea was that they were going to give this check, and then they must have only considered g6, which allows this, and then they win this guy back, which is really good. But they missed king f8, is what I'm assuming happened. Now I'm able to develop my pieces, and does this sack work? Um, well, I'm the only person that's ever done it. <laughs> and it turns out there is a defense. Queen e8 was an idea that I found later, but how could he have defended? He decides to go here. He should have taken. I obviously would have gone here. He could have gone here. And then I would have gone here. But now he just simply defends. Ah! This idea, we've seen this pop up so many times. This is such a normal defense in the, uh, in the Greek gift. So he totally could have taken, but he didn't. <laughs> I go in anyway. I can now take on F2. I was terrified to do this because now there's some pin here. I, I was really terrified of a position like this, but I guess after this, we're, we're doing fine. It, it's very hard for me to see even looking at the computer evaluation, but okay. So instead I go back to attack the queen. I start with this idea. It's about equal now. <laughs> I'm not ready to get in. He eventually goes after this. Where does he mess up? Uh, he should have here went to C5. C5, keeping maybe an eye on the H5 square. Very hard to see. Staying, like, closer to the king makes a lot of logical sense. But now my queen swooped in, and that's basically where the game ended. A nice little finish to the game. So you know what that means. It means it's time to mark it off the spreadsheet. And that means that we've now done 28 total gambits. Only 738 left to go.